Hey everybody, Mr. Bowman here. In this video, I've got a, another 2.12 probability methods exam for you. And in this video, we've got five achieved questions from that 2022 exam. Let's get straight into question number 40. So question number 40. So in New Zealand, the average person uses a mean of 227 litres per water. Um, of water per day with a standard deviation of 16 liters seeing a mean and standard de standard deviation i love seeing that because i know it's going to be a normal distribution question find the probability that a random new zealander uses between 227 and 247 liters per day so let's start by sketching a diagram so there's my diagram um, down the middle i know i've got the mean and i said that before the mean was 227 that was from the beginning part of my question there if you want to see these clearer do have a look on the quick Maths website the link in the description for these and other questions we know the standard deviation is 16 and we've been asked to find in between 227 and 247 so 227 is the mean so we've already got that on the graph so we don't need to draw another line there but we're just going to draw one kind of slightly above it to represent 247 and the shaded portion i'm trying to calculate that bit in the middle there that's the portion the probability i'm trying to find out so i know this question um, i am using a normal distribution model um, to do that so i normally just state it in particular when i push my graphics calculator i'm going to be using the ncd mode for that um, that mode requires you to input, or I'm writing the upper first, but the first thing you need to input is the lower, which is the lower case of my shaded area, which was the 227, which also happens to be the mean. We then need to put in the upper, which is going to be 247. We then are asked to put in the standard deviation, which is 16. And then finally, it's asked, asking you to put in the mean, also 227. Once you've got all of that, as I said, you've got to plug it into your graphics calculator. Let me know if you need help figuring that out. Um, so we know that the probability that X is in between 227. Um, so I've got, forgot my symbol there. And 220 or 247 is equal to, and hopefully you're getting the same if you put in your calculator, but I got 0.3944. And that they had a 4DP rounding when I did that. We're now moving on to question number 41. Um, we've got a whole bunch of information here. I won't really read it because it's not relevant to this question. But the question asks us, what is the probability that a randomly chosen river is tested as it's an urban river and it's unsafe for swimming? So looking at our table, we can see the unsafe ones are going to be here. And we can see the urban ones are going to be here. So the crossover, that 57 in the middle there, that's the group that's going to be the unsafe and urban and the total number of rovers they investigated in this particular um, survey whatever it was was 810 so let's get into the math part of it so we're trying to find the probability that they tested an, un, an urban one and it was unsafe remember i always use my f over t approach to do this type of question so the t down the bottom is what we deal with first so let's draw a fraction line the T down the bottom, that stands for the total number of rivers that we could have chosen from. And in this case, any of these rivers, all 810 are relevant for the question I've imposed. Of these 810, how many of them, F stands for favorable outcomes, how many of them meet the outcomes described in the question? And in this case, it's how many of them are urban and unsafe, and that's the 57 of them. So plugging that into my calculator as division, I got 0 0.0704 and that they had a 4DP rounding. We are now moving on to question number 42. Um, and again, same thing. They've got some information about some rivers. Um, they find a summary of the popular river sites in the North and South Island. And here's the summary that they found out. They found out some of them are unsafe. Some of them are safe. And then you've got some of them are in the North Island, some of them are in the South Island, etc. So the actual question, what is the probability that a river chosen at random from these monitored sites is safe and it's safe for swimming in particular? So that means what's the probability it's safe? So quite an easy question conceptually, but getting the numbers is going to be a bit more annoying here. So probability of it's safe, we're going to do F over T like question 41. 
And the total number of rivers that they've investigated is going to be all of these here added together. So that's going to be the 105 plus the 65 plus the 74 and plus the 34. Noting I've really just kind of added these all kind of together. So of these rivers, which are the safe ones? That's going to be the ones up the top there. That's going to be the 105 and the 65. So that's going to be my numerator. So that's going to be 105 plus 65. And here, grabbing my calculator, I'm going to do the addition up the first there. That's getting me to 170. Out of adding up all the ones on the bottom, that's 278 rivers in total. 278 rivers. And putting that into my calculator as division, I'm getting 0 0.6115, and that was rounded to 4DP. So about 61% of these rivers are going to be safe for swimming. We're now on to question number 43. And this one was actually really nice because normally they just give you like a big blank space to fill in the probability tree. But here they've actually kind of started it for you, which is really nice of them. Um, before we read the messy words, let's quickly come down to the bottom to read the question. That way we know what to keep an eye out for. So what is the probability that a respondent chosen at random about the water storages and they usually save. So the probability that they are concerned about the water shortages and usually save water. So we can see they've concerned or not concerned. And I assume this is all about whether or not they usually try to save water. Um, so I guess the first thing to keep an eye out for, do we have any information in the question that differentiates the proportion of people concerned and not concerned? And we do. Um, it says up here at the top, 87 percent of people were concern, concerned about shortages so we know that there's going to be 0 0.87 which means the remaining 13 percent they are not concerned about these water shortages um, the information up here you'll see 80 18 and 2 you'll see that information's already been put into the probability tree that was there for us and the next bit of the question says of those who were not concerned about water shortages it says one half of them try to save water, one quarter of them save water when restrictions in place, and the rest try not to save water. So this here, we're going to put these three outputs into my next um, layer of branches. So I'm going to go you, that's for the people who usually save water. I'm then going to go for R, that's for the people up there who normally save water when they're on restrictions. And down here, this, this is the never group, they're the people who just aren't fussed about it. So back to the question, one half of them try to save water. So that there is going to be the usually number, that's one half. One quarter of them do it when the restrictions are in place. So that means that there is going to be one quarter, which means the remaining one quarter must be the type of people who never try to save water in their graph. Oh, sorry, in their, during these water shortages. So back to the question, we're trying to find the probability that they're concerned and usually save water. So we're going to go probability that they are concerned and usually save water. So the concerned people are there and the not concerned people are down there. So that's going to be equal to, or well, it does relate to this branch here. So we're going to multiply the numbers on that branch together. In this case, it's the 0 0.87 here and the 0 0.8 up there. So as I said, 0 0.87 times 0 0.8. And when I plugged it into my calculator, I got 0 0.696. And that number there didn't need any rounding. We are now on to question number 44. This is the final Achieve questions from the 2022 exam. So this kind of says it's continued from 43, but the theme is continued. You didn't, you didn't really need the information from that previous question. So we've got a secondary school teacher wondered if young people's view would be similar to those seen in the online survey described in part A. That's the, the 43 part I mentioned. She's surveyed 200 students um, from two local high schools. She found out that 70% of them were concerned about climate change. So we're now moving on to climate change. Of those who were concerned about climate change, 85% of them were concerned about the water shortages. So it looks like we're comparing the climate change issue with the water shortages issue and whether or not people are concerned with them. And then 55% of people who were not concerned about climate change were concerned about the water shortages. So the question says, draw a probability tree and use it to find the probability that a student chose at random is concerned about the water shortages. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... Um, 
So this here is going to be C or C dash. So this here relates to whether or not they concerned about climate change. And we said at the top there, 70% of them were concerned about climate change. So that there is going to be 0 0.7, which means this bottom one here is going to be 0 0.3. So once we know their opinion about climate change, we then want to do the split. Are they concerned or not concerned about the water shortages? So I'm going to use concerned or not concerned again. And this layer of my tree is all about the water shortages. And we have to put this layer second because we know of the people we're concerned about climate change. That means after the climate change decision has been made, we've then got the next probability. So that's why this layer happens afterwards. So of those we're concerned about climate change, 85% of them were concerned about water changes. So people who were concerned had an 85% chance of being concerned about the water as well. So up the top there, that's going to be 0 0.85, which means 0 0.15 of those people concerned about climate change would not be concerned about the water shortages. The next number down here, this 55% number, 55% of those who were not concerned about climate change were concerned about the water shortages. So that means this number up here is going to be that 0 0.55. So they weren't concerned about climate change and they are concerned about the water shortages. So that there is going to be 0 0.55, which means the bottom number here must be 0 0.45. Um, so we've drawn the tree, which is the first part of the question. We now need to use it to find the probability that someone is concerned about the water shortages. So who are concerned about the water shortages? I'm just going to put a little star. So this group, not this group, this group, and not this group. So we need to find these two probabilities here and we need to add them together. So the probability that they were concerned about water shortages that's going to be the first branch multiplied together. So that's 0 0.7 times 0 0.85 up there. So 0 0.7 times 0 0.85 and we're going to add on the second branch. So that's 0 0.3 times 0 0.55. So we're then going to add on 0 0.3 times 0 0.55. So adding those together, when I put that in my calculator, I got a probability of 0 0.76. So roughly three quarters of these 200 students were concerned about the water shortages. So that wraps up the five achieved questions from the 2022 exam. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, Keep an eye out for other videos on 2.12. They're going to be coming out soon. And if you've got any questions, honestly, don't hesitate in contacting me in the comments section. I can reply with any um, guidance or advice or whatever it might be.